Right now at 6, a show of support for a little boy who was hospitalized after a frightening attack by a neighborhood dog. The toddler was playing with his mother in his front yard when the pit bull suddenly went on the attack. After spending days in the hospital, the two-year-old boy is now resting at home. Let's get right to local tennis. Ian Margo live in Pompano Beach with our top story tonight. Ian. Just imagine how scary this was for his mother, who was there, saw the dog coming, actually picked him up to try to protect him when that dog attacked. The good news, he is now back home, and BSO wanted to give him a welcome back that his family would never forget. Sirens wailing in this Pompano neighborhood, but at least on Thursday, they weren't heading to an emergency. Welcome home, Benji. Yeah. That is two-year-old Benji Borja, and you wouldn't know it by seeing him today, but earlier this month, the toddler was hospitalized for days after he was attacked by a dog in his mother's front yard. She was carrying him right here. The dog came and jumped and grabbed his thigh and like pulled him down. And that's when like they were all trying to get him they were all trying to get the dog to let go of his leg. Once the dog finally let go, Benji was rushed to the hospital with major injuries to his leg. He spent five days there before he was finally able to go home. And so, now that he's back, the Broward Sheriff's Office wanted to give him a welcome his family would never forget. When I spoke to Nicole and uh, Daisy, I asked them, I said, what do you want? I said, I can do three or four cars. And she said, maybe if you can do 20. I said, hey, I'll shoot for 20. <laughs> And they did at least that number. There were a lot of people here to say hello to Benji and welcome him back home. The sad news, that dog did have to be put down after the attack. The good news, though, Benji is doing great. He is healing well. He is happy. And I can tell you he has plenty of new toys to play with. Mm -hmm. We're live in Pompano. I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News. Quite